Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about how to conduct a comprehensive Google Ads audit for your account. I know we have been running Google Ads or you have been running Google Ads for many months or many years and a lot of times some of the campaigns and accounts are just on autopilot. You know things go by and the objectives change but the performance goes down because you might not have a chance to look at it or if you are a company, a brand, a small, medium or enterprise company who outsource your advertising to external agencies or even freelancers and if they are managing your account, uh, there might be a good you know, chance that you know, down the line things might you know, fall through the cracks. So I want to show you like how you can conduct a comprehensive Google Ads audit and all the things that you need to be taking into consideration to make a decision whether to continue with that agency or a freelancer, whether to switch the agency or to you know shut down the campaigns or reassess your overall you know brand strategy. So let's get started and I'm gonna jump straight into things. All right, the first one is um, account structure. Again, this is at a very, very high level. Make sure that, and I'm gonna be actually going into the Google Ads account and show you each of these but I want to run through them quickly so that you have a 30,000 foot idea about what are we going to talk about, right? So the account structure is basically understanding, you know, how your campaign is organized and uh, under each campaign, do you have the right number of, you know, ad groups and uh, ads, right? Now, the way you can check this is to understand if your business is promoting a product or service or if there is a specific objective like lead generation. If there is a mismatch between what your campaign is supposed to do, uh, for example, in this case, let's say you are an e-commerce brand and if you're selling, um, you know, office furniture, right, for example. And if your campaign is driving, uh, you know, traffic to a website and it's tracking like lead gen, there is a mismatch between your campaign setup and your business objective. So check if the campaigns are structured by product, service and objective. And this will help you to you know, ensure that you are using the right marketing objective and bidding strategy. Now, once you have set that campaign, the next step is to figure out if you have enough ad groups. Now, ideally, what happens is for a search campaign, you will need to understand the theme, um, which is the keyword theme, right? And you can create an ad group that targets a specific keyword theme. And under that ad group, you will have, let's say up to three to five you know, ads. Now that's actually helpful to organize and manage. Uh, a lot of brands or, you know, Google Ads account that I've seen, they just simply create like one campaign, one ad group and one ad, and they have like 500 keywords. That's not going to help you get any kind of qualitative data in order to make any kind of decisions, right? So ensure that you are, you're focusing around themes under your ad groups and try to align in such a way that you get quality data. Then comes a little redundancy check. This is where you, you might have like overlapping ad groups where you have the same keyword theme repeated across like multiple ad groups. Now this will actually cause, you know, cannibalization within your search campaign or within your ad account. So try to figure out if there are any overlapping, you know, assets, right? The next one is, you know, keyword analysis. Now this is by far, I would say the most important audit that you, that you should do. Now, I know that there are bidding strategies, conversion rate optimization, uh, digital plumbing, which is, uh, you know, trying to see if you are actually tracking conversions. All of that is important. But I think the most important one I would say is search terms report. This is actually a gold mine because when you start driving traffic, you are going to get data in terms of what exactly people searched for that resulted in a click. So that's the search terms report, right? Basically, you can simply export that and I will show you in Google Ads where exactly you can find it, but export that search terms report. And nowadays data analysis has become super easy. Simply upload that CSV file to, you know, chat GPT and ask questions like, okay, provide me a list of top five themes that are driving conversions. And it will give you like, you know, uh, the number of conversions and these are the top 10 keywords that's driving conversion. You can ask a question like, hey, give me a list of keywords that's having a high click through rate, high number of clicks, but no conversions those are basically your vampires, you know? It's basically a budget waste. Um, or it can be, you know, 
uh, why aren't they converting? Like, okay, if it's having a high click-through rate, it means it has good ad quality, it um, good, you know, relevant score and good quality score, but it might be, you know, going down on landing page experience. So figure out how you can, you know, increase your landing page experience, right? So those are the kind of analysis that you can do with search terms report. Then comes of obvious, obviously, you know, performance metrics. You know, are you getting, uh, are there any profitable campaigns? You know, again, if you are an e-commerce brand and if you see that the return on ad spend on certain campaigns are basically a break even, then you might have to figure out how can I get more profitable. If you find out that certain campaigns are having higher return on ad spend compared to other ones, then allocate or reallocate budget from low performing campaigns to the top performing campaign, right? And then of course you have match types. This is where, you know, you can employ a mix of, you know, broad, exact and phrase although Google wants you to use phrase match more and more. So see what type of, you know, match type is actually driving conversions. So that's again, a good way to, you know, audit your account. All right, this is where, you know, the actual interaction between a brand happens, trying to audit your ad copy and extensions. Now, I will tell you for sure, with ad extensions, there are multiple cases where some of the links uh, say for example, site links, they break because you might be driving traffic to a one-off landing page. It gets added to your account-wide extension inventory. And then when you're running a new campaign, those account-wide uh, ad extensions get automatically added and some of them just go to, you know, page not found because it's not relevant. Or when you add an ad extension through a recommendation from Google. You know how it says like, uh, you know, your optimization score is like 50% and some people are like, oh yeah, hit apply. And then it will create an extension for you. You don't add any description. That's a classic example of poor management, right? So take a look at your call extension, take a look at your price extension, your promotion extension. You might be running a promotion that's no longer valid. You know, you might have set an end date or you might be running a direction extension or a location extension. So take a look at all those extensions and ensure that you know they are up to date, they are using the right copy and uh, they are making sense for the uh, campaign that you're running. So next one is compelling copy. Now again, this is where uh, I think you know with Performance Max campaign, you are actually able to um, you know, break down your campaign into multiple asset group. So why don't you drive, you know, traffic to specific sections within your website to ensure that, you know, you get more flexibility in terms in terms of the keywords and the signals, the in-market audiences, and uh, the copy that you can write that is specific to that asset group. So that's where, you know, you can do an audit of um, ad copy and extension. All right, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the control is lost by you know, the ad account in terms of what happens after they click on that ad, right? And this is where as a digital marketer or a brand manager or, you know, a CMO or a freelancer or an agency owner, whoever it is, right, I'm talking to, they need to focus on the entire ecosystem, you know, bringing it, you know, uh, together. And what I meant by that is, figure out what happens on the landing page itself, right? If there is a mismatch between what you are driving uh, traffic to the keywords and the ad copy that you're using and uh, between that and if there is a mismatch between the landing page, then, you know, people are going to drop off. You know, are people frustrated about your pop-ups, your exit intent strategies and um, maybe a bunch of chatbots, you know, or maybe you know the page does not load. There's too much of rich content going on. Is the is the page not optimized for better user experience? You know, try to figure that aspect right. And then, of course, you know most of the conversions are happening these days on mobile. So try to see what kind of checkout experience, what kind of form fill experience is happening on mobile. All right. Now, this is where the true you know, engineering aspect come in, comes into play. Make sure that for every campaign, you test out the entire funnel by yourself. And this is applicable for as simple as, you know, lead gen, website traffic, to, you know, a conversion-based campaign, to uh, an e-commerce brand, to shopping, pretty much 
any type of campaign, ensure that you test it thoroughly from end to end. Now, I, I will take an, a simple example. You know, let's say you are promoting uh, a, a downloadable on your website. Try to ensure that you are firing the exact conversion tag on the thank you page. You can use Google Tag Assistant to diagnose any tracking issues. And you can ensure that if you have set up a conversion value, then that exact conversion value is assigned. Now for an e-commerce brand, you can say, assign different values based on the conversion type for based on the product price. But let's say you're using a Legion campaign and you know that your cost per lead for your business is $100, for example. You can assign, you know, assign same value per conversion. You can even say like, count every conversion or count only one conversion, right? So those are some parameters that you need to check to make sure that the right data is getting passed on. And I highly recommend testing it thoroughly because if you don't get any kind of conversion data, your campaigns are not going to optimize. Google will not know who exactly it needs to push that campaign and what's the right type of audience. If your conversion happens offline, then there is a tactic called as offline conversion tracking and I have a separate video in my channel. So make sure you watch that on how to track offline conversions and pass on offline conversion data back into Google Ads for optimization. So conversion tag tracking, digital plumbing, ensuring that your tags are getting fired, um, your remarketing tags are working properly so that you can build a remarketing audience. All of that is important aspect of the entire you know, ad account audit. And of course, you know, as we move on, your budget and bidding is going to be important. Uh, ensure that you're allocating the right amount of budget. Um, again, bidding strategy, you know, a lot of time these days, it's all, you know, automated bidding strategy. So return on ad spend, cost per acquisition, cost per lead, maximize conversions, maximize clicks, so, so many bidding strategies. So depending upon the campaign objective, try to choose the right bidding strategy. And if your campaign is focusing on brand awareness and reach, then impression share is another one. So um, these are some areas that you need to focus on. And uh, finally, you know, your performance and competition. So this is where your overall metrics like click-through rate, conversion rate, ROAS will come, come into play to have a you know, high-level overview of, okay, what are my profitable campaigns and what do I need to you know, shut down? Also take a look at Auction Insights report. This is where you will get to know, uh, you know, are you having a 20% market share, 30% market share, um, you know, what type of top of page impression share you are at. You know, there are so many metrics that will give you, you know, a competitive analysis in terms of where you are. And if you want to be aggressive, you can of course increase budget. You can bid for top of paid page bid strategy. So that way you're always at top. So those are some tactics that you know you can employ. And for all the you know businesses out there, small medium enterprise who work with you know agencies, freelancers, you know take a look at change history. You know a lot of times, uh, many people when you hire or when you outsource, you know they work great for the first few months and then after that there's no change history going on. So take a look at like what kind of you know tweaks are going on. Uh, are those tweaks ma making sense? Uh, and you can actually look at change history on a per campaign basis, on a per asset basis. So that's the beauty of, you know, change history. So audit that and uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, spying or it, it's, 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 not, it's not like ensuring that, you know, hey, are they working? It's more about, you know, is this change making sense, you know, and are we like updating the campaign frequent enough? So that's again an important area to look into. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna show you some details around the actual Google Ads. I just wanna quickly show you, you know, basically, you know, you have one campaign and then you need to have three different ad groups and then under each ad group, you have three different ads and that's how your organizational setup needs to be. Under Insights and Report, this is where you will get to see under Insights your Auctions Report and uh, you will get a lot more data in terms of how you are you are compared to other brands. Under where and when your ads were shown, this is where you will get to see the ad placements. 
Again, if you're getting traffic from mobile apps and random junk display sites, you know that there is some placement issue going on. Under tools, content suitability, just simply uncheck or simply exclude all apps and um, you know websites that do not make sense, right? So that way you are not wasting your budget from display campaign. Then you have uh, your reports editor if you wanna build a custom report. I already spoke about campaigns, ad groups and ads. If you wanna experiment with certain campaigns, you can do that. Under assets, uh, you will get to see all your extensions, your mm, pretty much everything that you have created from ad copy to images to logos. Under audience keywords and content, this is where you can audit your audiences. If you are if you are wanting to expand your audience or if you wanna add more signals, you can do that. If you want to check if you're targeting the right demographics, this is where you can do that. If you wanna exclude certain audiences, you can add from the exclusion. Location audit is super, super important. If you want to target only specific uh, you know, users from a certain location or even states or zip code, and if you are triggering you know, clicks, views, and impressions from totally different location, that's when you know there is a mismatch. You can hit on edit, select the campaign and then make changes. Uh, and then again, bid adjustments. Let's say you want to you know, increase the bid for certain demographics. You wanna update or add locations and increase the bid, you can do that. And finally, you can click on change history to see like what type of changes were made by what you, by who, for what campaign and uh, all the different type of you know, change history based on these categories. So I know that was a lot of information and I hope this helps you to conduct a thorough uh, digital marketing slash Google Ads audit. If you need any help, let me know in the comment section. Shoot me an email, I'll be happy to respond and uh, make sure to like, subscribe and comment to, to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.